Welcome to C Sharp Code. Today, we're making our Add to Cart button fully operational across all pages. If a user isn't logged in, this button will lead them to the login page. For logged in users, it will reveal a handy side cart. In this side cart, users can change the quantity or remove items. So let's jump right in. To kick things off, I've changed the site's font. I did this by adding a link in the host file and adjusting the font family in the site.css file. This applies to all classes with the exception of our icons. Now let's go and try to understand the, the data structure so we can create a repository. We have four main classes that are related to the cart. We have the book, the cart, the cart item and the application user. So uh, rather than creating separate repositories for each of the three entities and then create methods to fetch each one individually, we are going to create a single repository, the user repository, within which uh, we'll fetch the user, then include the cards, which in turn include the card items. And now let's go and create the repository. Uh, for this, we're creating a new folder. I'm going to call it customer in our data directory just for organization. We're going to create a class named user repository. This will be our hub for managing these three entities. First, we inject the user manager and the authentication state provider in our user repository constructor. And then we're going to start by creating the first method, which is get user async. We start by getting the current authentication state of the user. Then we're going to extract the user's de details into uh, the user variable. Then where initialize a new application user object. If the user is not null, we fetch the application user along with their related entities, views, orders, cart, cart items, and book from the database. If the application user does not have a cart, we create a new one and save it to the database. Then in add to cart async, we start by initializing a new cart object. If the user doesn't have a cart, we create a new one and save it to the database. If the user already has a cart, we use the existing one. Next, we check if the book already exists in the cart items. If it does, we increment its quantity. Otherwise, we create a new cart item for the book and add it to the cart. We then save these changes to the database. For the remove item from cart method, we simply remove the given cart item from the database and then save the changes. For the update item, we find the old cart item in the database that matches the updated item's ID and then we update the quantity of the old item to match the quantity of the updated item. Now we are going to create the cart service. Let's create a new folder and call it services within which we are going to create a new class, the cart service. The reason we need cart service is to manage and react to changes in the state of the cart, such as when the cart is shown or hidden and when animations begin or end. While it is possible to store this uh, states directly in, in the cart components, encapsulating them in separate services allow us to you reuse them across different components. So let's start by the own change event. Other components components can subscribe to this event to be notified when the cart states changes. Then we have the show cart and the start animation. The show cart and start animation properties expose these private fields. The set methods update the values of the private fields and then call the notify state change method. The notify state change method invokes the on change event alerting any subscriber that the state of the cart has changed. Now in program.cs we are going to inject our cart service so we can use it everywhere. Now let's create our uh, cart component. We're gonna place it inside our shared folder since it's going to be shared between all pages. And then we're gonna start by injecting the necessary services and components needed. The DB context factory, the authentication state provider to access the current logged in user state, the user manager for managing users, and the cart service to handle operations and manage the state of the cart. First, we declare two parameters, the cart items, which are gonna hold a list of cart items, and the application user, which is gonna be our logged in user. In the on initialized method, we're subscribing the state has changed method, the on change event of cart service. This ensures the component will re-enter whenever the cart state changes. Then the dispose method to unsubscribe the state has changed from the cart service on change to avoid memory leaks when the component is disposed of. The next method we're going to create is the hide cart method. We start an animation, wait for it to complete using the task that delay and then hide the cart by changing the show cart property to false. Then we're gonna change, 
we're going to create the change quantity method. This method allows us to change the quantity of an item in the cart. It checks if the quantity change is valid, modifies the quantity, then uses the user repository to update the item in the database. Finally, it updates the cart's items list to reflect the new state. For the remove item async method, it uses the user repository to remove the item from the database, then updates the cut items list. And then we have the calculate order sum method, which calculates the total cost of all items in the cut. It loops to each item in the cut and multiplies the item's quantity by its price, adding this to a total sum. Now for the view, we have uh, the main div block, which only going to be showing when the show cut property of the cut service is true. Within it, we have two div blocks. The first one is the overlay, which gonna create an overlay effect when the cut is visible. And also when clicked is going to call the hide cut method. Then we have the side cuts div block. This one contains the actual cut. It has two CSS class applied. Uh, when the animation starts, the closed class is applied. Otherwise the open class is used. Inside the side cards, we have the cart header and we have the product table that displays uh, all the cart items. For each cart item, it shows the item image, name and total price. It also provides options to increase, decrease the quantity uh, and a button to remove the item from the cart. And also we have the order summary that shows the total cost of all items in the cart by calling a calculate order sum method. Uh, it also uh, includes an order now button which currently doesn't have any functionality attached. Now let's create the CSS class for our cut component. Now let's go to our main menu, inject the cart service and add the toggle cart method that is going to set the show cart property in the service cart to true when the cart icon is clicked. Now in our index uh, page, we're going to implement the, the cart component. First, we're going to start by uh, injecting this, the cart service. Then we're going to instantiate a new application user and a new cart item list. Then we're going to include the component and pass then those as parameters. Then in on initialized async, we're going to get the current authentication state, get the user from it and check if the user is, is authenticated. If yes, get all the information about this user, including the card, uh, the, the card items list. Then we're going to create the add to cards async method that will, which will allow us to add new items to the card. Let's use our user repository and call the add to cart async method passing the book and user as parameters and then we're gonna update the item with the repository method and update the user and the cart items then we're gonna invoke the state has changed and set the show cart property of the cart service to true one last thing to do is we need to check if the user is authenticated before allowing him to to add to the cart when clicking to the add to cart button. So to do that, we're going to use the authorized view. Now it is only working on the index page. So let's fix that and make it work on the other page, such as the author page and the book page. To do that, we're going to do the same thing we did for the index page. Let's do it together once more. Inject the cart service and add the cart component to the page, depending on whether the user is authenticated or not. Change the add to cart button functionality either to call the add to cart async method or to write right direct to the login page in on initialized async method get the user and the cart items from the uh, from the user repository and add the add to cart async method let's do the same for the author page and here we have our cart components working perfectly on all pages when the user is not logged in Clicking on the add to cart button takes him to the login page. Otherwise, it's going to open the cards and add the corresponding book. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you found it insightful and helpful. Please do hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Sharing this video with your friends will also help our community grow. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.